I am literally sitting on the floor right now because I do not know what angle works best for my little buddy over here. <laughs> back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Taya and I make lifestyle and fashion videos so if you guys like that kind of stuff then you better subscribe down below and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video so for today's video I will be doing a what's in my backpack 2019 this is actually my first time doing this on my channel since last year I don't know what why I didn't do it but yeah, basically I didn't do it last year, so it's my first time doing this on my channel. And honestly, these kinds of videos are so fun to film. Like anything back to school related is fun to film, not the just not the actual back to school learning and stuff. So yes, and I've been like I've been binge watching a lot of back to school videos. So why not hop in a trend of doing back to school videos as well? So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So if you guys haven't watched my what's in my back, uh, what's in my back, what's in my backpack end of school, like edition in my school, then you guys would probably know that this bag broke. So basically, if you guys didn't understand me in my in my um, other video that I explained why I didn't use this throughout the whole school year, basically, you guys see this. Oh, sorry. You guys see this um, handle right here. Basically, this one broke, so it's only like when I pulled the handle up, this one basically got stuck inside, if you know what I mean. So, yes, so it was only this one that came out. So, yeah, I don't know if I explained it correctly, but that's basically what broke inside my handle. So basically, this is my high share backpack. I don't really know if I pronounced it correctly, but yeah, um, it has how many pockets? It has one, one, two, three, four. It has four pockets, and it is basic, and it's enough for all of my books, notebooks, and other um, essentials for school. Okay, so let's start off with my with the big pocket. So basically this is how the inside looks like it just it just has my um, accordion or my like expanding folder my five book and my two pencil case okay so this is how my folder looks like I can't <laughs> I am covering the uh, um, label that I placed there since it has my phone it since it has my full name in here basically this is how it looks like I bought it in national bookstore last year and I figured that I might as well I might as well just use my last year's um, extending folder because it's pretty much still in good condition. There's like lots of like, um, I don't know, I don't know what you call these like scratches, but it's totally fine. It still works. This is how it looks like. It's like this grayish kind of um, color. Okay, and right here I just have my intermediate pad. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of like Filipino YouTubers who like what's in my backpack a lot of them actually have like yeah a lot, a lot of them actually use yellow pad and not these kind but yeah basically for our grade we just use these intermediate pad and this one has 80 leaves in them and of course the other kinds of papers there is there's the one fourth quiz pad there's the um, one half crosswise pad paper and this is the one half lengthwise um, pad paper. Okay, next, and I will not really like bring it out because it's just books. Basically, right here, I just have, I'm just gonna show you guys an example. So basically, like these, I have my English book right here. Then I just have my science, um, my world history book or my AP book and my math book my English book and my Filipino book okay next thing is my pencil case this is probably this is probably like my favorite part of my bag 
So basically, this is how it looks like. I actually found this pencil case through Katie Tracy on YouTube. She has she has lots of videos of like Japanese stationaries, and I got. And when I saw these Japanese, and when I saw this pencil case uh, when I went to Osaka, um, I was actually surprised that I found it because you know. And if you guys are wondering where I bought this, I bought this in Loft, I think, either Loft or Tokyo Hands, in um, when I went to Osaka. So you can definitely find these kinds of pencil cases in those stationery stores. Okay, I actually want to speak sneeze right now, but I don't. I just stop. Right here, you can see I have loads of different kinds of pens. Could I like bring everything out? Okay, let's just do it. Okay, so right here in this like small, so basically this is how you open it. It's like, it's like this, then you fold it down. I think it's like there's a magnet in here that sticks them together. So the first thing is this tiny small eraser. If I'm not mistaken, this is Pilot. And um, I, this was actually from last year, although I don't think I, this can survive me throughout the whole school year. So I did bought extra. Okay, next is my correction tape. This is just in this aqua blue kind of um, color. And then you just open the cap like this. Last year, I actually had this like light green one. I'll try to insert a picture right here. But I don't know where it went, so I just... It's a good thing I just sent an extra one. Okay, next I just have my peanuts, oh, my peanuts stapler. This is actually a new one, and I actually also found this through Katie Tracy on YouTube once again. Basically, this is how you open it, like this, right? Then you open it, I think, like this. Then there's like this metal thing. I don't know what you call it. Put it down, and you snap it. Okay, so this is how it looks like it's opened and I love the I love how it's so small so it's like super I can put it in my backpack because last year I had this like very big bulky one and it did not I didn't get I didn't it didn't fit in my uh, pencil case last year so yeah oh, this is perfect because it's small and like compact and now that I've shown this everyone's gonna know that I have a stapler and everyone's gonna borrow for me but it's okay I'm kind <laughs> So I'm just gonna go like very quick through my pencil case because I don't I don't wanna like bore you guys. So first things I have these two mo oh sorry 0.3 Mongol pencils and just have this like jelly grip in there and like in a swirly design and this I don't know what to call it. I've heard this is called I've heard this is actually called a pencil topper. I don't know if that's how you call it, but just this purple one and there's this pink one. Then I just have this Pilot Correction Pen. This is perfect because you can have like a, you can control it. So yeah, so I feel like this is running out but it's okay. I have extra. First off, I have these two Sarasa pens. I got this when I was, when I went to Saga once again in um, Tokyo. This is a Sarasa uh, 1.0 lead. I got to. I don't know how to say it. And this is the 0 0.5, and it just says Marvel in it, because sorry, because you know I love Marvel. And then next, I just got um, these four Muji pens. I might still be, but I might still actually still go to Muji and buy some pens that I actually like. So these are not like all of them. And once again, I'm gonna remove some that I don't actually like like to use you know and these are just the zero point i have two 0 0.38 pens and one blue 0 0.7 pen and this one is just this normal what i don't really know but it's like this clicker one so yes this is actually really good especially if you're taking notes that it doesn't like bleed and next i just have three colettos i don't think i'm actually going to be using three of these since last year, actually, this is just the one I used last year, although it's not finished, I guess. Because during like 5th to 6th grade, I used to love Kaleo, but now I'm just like, it's okay. But yeah, this one, I got this for my school as a gift. 
as a, I don't really know, our teacher just gave this to me, uh, to us at the end of school year. So I don't know if this is like a gift, like just for random, or like if it's like a goodbye gift. You know, so yeah, basically, so, and this is just the colorful one. It has orange, pink, and green, and like dark green and light green. Then I don't want to like show everything. So basically, these are all my pens. The rest, I have like friction pen, um, like mechanicals. And like um, just mechanical pencils and um, just the normal pens, you know. Lastly, I just got these uh, Pilot whiteboard marker, and this is the one I used last year. Okay, last thing now from the big pocket, I got this very dirty pencil case, and it says "Every day is natural style." Yes, and it's very dirty since I got I had this ever since I was like in sixth grade, I think. So yeah. <laughs> So right here, just some extra stuff that cannot fit, cannot fit in my pencil case, like um, these Stabilo pastel highlighters, um, these the bulky stapler I was telling you guys about since it's very dirty already. Um, I also need to put like, staples in here. Yeah, I just have some scissors. Then I just have um, these 0.5 lead. Yeah. 0.5 lead then um there's some elmer's glue stick right here it's not a focus but okay then this very dirty mongol sharpener okay does anyone know okay basically that's that and yeah it's basically i have these like glue tape that i got from national bookstore and it's very dirty scotch tape so yeah it's basically it so we are done with the first pocket or the biggest pocket. Now let's move on to the second pocket right here. So basically this is how it looks like. So right here you can you guys can see it. I keep all my folders and my ruler. So the first thing is this is I have my blue long L folder. Uh, at first I actually didn't know what a blue long L folder was, so I had to Google it. Basically, this is just a required. It's basically just like one of the requirements that we had to like buy for school. Yeah, so this is just how it looks like. It's blue and it's just like I guess that's why it's called like L folder. It's like an L, I think. Basically, like one side is like closed and one side is open. I actually personally like these kinds of folders because I think it's very like um, it's very um, useful, you know. So that and you know that your papers aren't gonna. Like slip if you want some if you want something that is very like lightweight and very thin you can use this kind yeah i got this at national bookstore as well okay next thing i got from the disney store um when i went to hong kong this is just this you guys probably saw this if you guys watched my what's in my backpack so yeah i'm gonna a lot of these are actually reused from last year so yeah you see right here i just keep my graph paper for math Okay, then I just keep my world map right here um, for my world history or my AP class. Okay, next thing I just got these um, this empty folder. It has like five tabs in it. So yes, and I've actually I think I'm probably just gonna use this for my reviewers this, since last year I used this for my reviewers as well. So yeah, and I got this from this like um station i saw when i went to hong kong i forgot what the name was i'm sorry okay the next thing i got the next thing is this just this ruler that i've used since last year we ne didn't really actually really use a user except for math and it's probably what we're gonna use this for but yeah and this is the uh, stretchy one next from the little folder little like um pocket i got this I have my Starbucks planner. I actually used this like last school year at the start of January when Starbucks started giving um, their like planners. So this is how mine looks like. It's just this. I got the brown one. If I'm not mistaken, they also have a white one, but I chose the black one so it doesn't really get dirty as quick. So yeah, this is how it looks like. I just have lots of like lots of pages right here. It's really cute. I love this. Last year, right here, I have my 
those books. I actually don't think these are all of them since they're like extra like classes where you need to where you need a notebook. I actually, but I actually don't know yet like the classes that you need a notebook. So these are just the basic ones. That's basically it for the second pocket. So I did mention that these had four compartments in there, but um, the, the small, the third compart, the, sm the third like pocket is actually like super small, and this is basically like. And right here, I keep my index card. I don't think this is where I'm actually gonna put um, my index card, but this is just where I put it as for the moment. Cause for English, I think we, the teacher required us to bring index cards. So I just bought this pack one. It has 50 pieces in them. It only said that we actually need only four, but I just bought one just in case. So yes, this is the three by five index card. Okay. Then I just have this post-it, um, like sticky notes. In, okay, it's not sticky notes, but I forgot what you call them. Is it tabs? I'm not actually sure if it's called tabs, but yeah, this is just a colorful one. It has red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. And um, I've actually used this for like homework or like um, if like you, if you have like homework in a book, this is very helpful. So I know the page. Then I just have this. Um, then I just have this. Um, how do you call this? USB drive. <laughs> um, then just, you know, this is just just in case we need like a USB for school. I just have one just in case. So yeah, right here. Then lastly, for the last pocket, we are fast. We are actually almost done. So to the last pocket, these are actually like more of. Um, extra school supplies that you don't really need but I just choose to bring it okay firstly I have these um oh my gosh it got a crack but yeah this is basically I got this when I went to Target I think in Australia so yeah let me just open this carefully so on the first side it has all like different kinds of rulers there's a normal ruler a triangle one and the protractor. Wait, no. Is this just called protractor? Okay, I forgot what these are called, but yeah. Um, we have these like four kinds of um, rulers. Okay, for this side, I have. Um, okay, so I have this protractor. I think this is the one that's called the protractor. If I'm not, I'm just gonna put the. I'm probably gonna search it and put it on the screen right here. But yeah, um, this is. Okay, I'm actually not sure if it's called a protractor, but yeah, so this one is actually really cool because this one, it is a mechanical one right here. As you can see, it has like this mechanical because usually the normal ones is just a normal pencil that you have to put or it comes with a like normal pencil, but this one, it has a mechanical pencil, so it's much easier. Then, of course, if there's mechanical pencil, there is... There is lead right here, like a tiny lead for the mechanical pencil right there. And this one, I just have this normal mechanical pencil as well. And it's, everything's like themed blue, so yeah. Then I just have, oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Then I just have this tiny small eraser right there. Last year, I've, I, I've actually also brought this to school, but we didn't really we didn't use this. Right here, I just keep my tiny calculator in here. Okay, I keep a lot of my labels in here, but yeah, this is how it looks like. I don't, I'm not actually sure if I bought this myself or if this was free, but yeah, this is just in case you need some like small calculations in there, then, you know, I just bought this just in case, you know? Okay, then I just have this tiny small, this tiny ruler. I don't know if we're gonna use this because last year I didn't really use it that much, but this one is just six inches right here. While the other one is 12. Then I just have this um, alcohol or hand sanitizer. And this is one, if you guys haven't seen my uh, preparing for like school, uh, for school year 20, 2019, I just recently bought this, you know. And um, I said, I'm not sure if I said this, but I was actually gonna put this in my locker. But since I still had the um, alcohol I used last year, I'm just gonna put in it, that in my locker and I'll keep a small one inside my bag. And this is my scientific calculator. It's the casual one and I think it's, it's the one everyone uses. But yeah, 
was just the one. You guys probably seen this a lot of like YouTubers, Filipino YouTubers have this. So yeah. And this one we actually used this pretty much a lot last year. I have my giggles, baby wipes. I use a lot of wipes for school. Then I have my tissue, my facial tissue right here. I'm probably still gonna like put one in my bag, like in my like handbag where I put my phone and stuff. But I just have this just in case, you know. I'm so so sorry that I wasn't focused. That is it for what is my backpack for 2019 video. I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's video. It's probably one of my, it's probably my most favorite video that I've filmed so far since I, again, I've mentioned before, I've, I've, I just love back to school like videos. I love, I love filming anything back to school related as much as I love like watching back to school videos. So if you guys um, like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video, and comment down some video suggestions as well, you know, because I'm running out of ideas. And share it with your friends and family. I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye!